All right, so here we are at the Drone Nationals, and we are talking to Ram O'Fair from the Connex Pro Site, uh, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his new FPV transmitter system. So, how you doing, Ram? Thank you uh, for this uh, great uh, opportunity and great day here at the Drone Nationals. We're, it's the first time we are presenting uh, the ProSight product that was designed for uh, drone racing. It's, it's, a, it's a member of the Connex family, mm -hmm. which was very successful in the professional uh, drone market. We took uh, the know-how, the technology that is building the Connex, was building the Connex into the FPV space, turning the FPV from analog to digital. We believe that uh, our system uh, is the best for viewing and provide the best experience to the pilot. Uh, it's a system that was designed uh, to fit the form factor of tiny uh, FPV quad. Mm -hmm. um, that's designed, a transmitter? That's a transmitter. Okay. We have designed uh, a tiny camera, an HD camera, you can see here. That's the, um, the HD camera that we have designed. Wow. The camera, uh, it's, a, it's a digital high definition camera connected to our transmitter. Mm -hmm. It's a zero latency camera. Wow. The digital signal uh, are transferred to the transmitter with no latency. We transmit the um, high definition signals to the ground. Uh, we have a diversity receiver and that allows you to really fly aggressively FPV and have an immersive experience of, of high def uh, high def video. Now, digital is typically an all or nothing. So, what happens if if you're out of signal range? Do you lose video, or does it? It's a good question. What we have designed in this system, and specifically uh, opposed to uh, what we did in Connex, mm -hmm. we've designed a mode here that uh, allows you to see a graceful degradation of the signal. So, once uh, the pilot sees that uh, there's some small blocks are showing on the video mm -hmm. he understand that he's going to be out of range and the performance will degrade so he can maneuver and, and, and uh, recover we also have a an on-screen display a reception bar that shows the pilot that he's getting very close to the limit of the system okay. and uh, that was uh, actually designed in purpose to allow pilots, FPV pilots, to be aware that they are going to lose the, the running video feed. Running. That's excellent. What is the weight of the, of the system that goes on the aircraft? So this is, uh, the camera is uh, 23 gram. Okay. Uh, the transmitter is 60 gram. Uh, pretty much comparable to what Not you bad. see. Yeah. Uh, today, uh, the form factor fits even small quads. We, 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 we saw people figure the figured out how to mount it on, on very x shape. size. Or exactly. Um, um, there's an antenna mounted. Uh, the antenna is, uh, is, 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 is a diversity antenna. It mm -hmm. provides you excellent quality. So what is that antenna on that drone right there? The, the, the T-shape antenna? So the T-shape antenna is in general, the, the, the way we are positioning the antenna, vertical and horizontal, is to make sure that we get the signals when the drone is maneuvering. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's very complex. If you do tricks and loops and, uh, and rolls, you have to have a, at any point in time an antenna pointing towards the receiver. Right. Yeah. So that's the shape of the antenna and we saw other people perfecting this shape, yeah. making it uh, smaller, differently, yeah. hooking up differently on the drone, playing with it and, and I think yet to be seen, uh, we're going to shape the antenna continuously uh -huh. until pilots will feel comfortable with the shape and it's, it's not going to... So, so do you guys actually reach out to the community and take some of their ideas? Or, so or we reach out to the community, we listen to them, there's lots of inputs on, on blogs and mm -hmm. it's actually, it's a fascinating industry because we, yeah. well, we're getting a lot of support from pilots uh, that want to really transition from analog to digital mm -hmm. and they're helping us with, with feedbacks and you know comments and you know very positively looking at the experience yeah. here. Some of them that have flown this system says, well, we're not going to fly any more analog. <laughs> it's you know it's 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 the comments we are it's looking for. It's a game for. changer. So okay. your your signal, I mean, it's always going to be clear, and unless you said like you go out of range, so you're you're not going to get any of that. You don't get the static, the statics. Yeah, the static. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, how that. about the interference between the systems? So if I have four or five racers out there, uh, neck to neck, do so, they interfere so, in any so way? So what's 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 great in in digital systems is that you can control the frequency mm -hmm. and the bandwidth in a very sharp way. 
Uh, this is a full digital control system. Yeah. We have an application on a mobile device connected to our receivers through Bluetooth. Yeah. And the pilot is able to program the frequency he wants to fly. Yeah. And if it's an organized race, the race manager will decide what frequency. Yeah. And we, we made sure that these frequencies are such when once you lock on them, they are yeah. not interfering with each other. Okay. So that, that's digitally done. Yeah. Easily through an application. You can organize a race. Now we have another mode, which is an auto mode, okay. where you know two friends, pilots, are going there with an FPV. They want to fly the FPV. They don't want to mess with any programming and anything. So the auto mode is a mode that we scan yeah. for a free frequency, uh, and we lock the receiver and transmitter on this free frequency. And the other pilot, yeah. other transmitter, scan, and he can see the other guy frequency, and yeah. he can lock on a different one. So this is an auto mode. The auto mode allows you to fly two to three pilots in the yeah. same vicinity without any problem and any any pre-programming of the system. Cool. What is what is the frequency? What is the band that it's using? So we can uh, we're working on an unlicensed band between the 5.1 to the 5.9. It's wow. uh, the whole wow. thing. Yeah. Uh, we have a uh, system is pretty sophisticated. We have a DFS frequency radar detection, mm -hmm. so we are allowed by, by regulation to work on all the channels that are available between the 5.1 and 5.9 wow. because of this, uh, this, this uh, radar uh, channel scanning. Okay. So, so that's uh, it opens for uh, I don't know maybe 20 pilots to race. Yeah. We haven't tested that yeah. to that extent, but, but step possible. by step it's possible. So they, what is the range on these things? Uh, roughly a uh, half a kilometer. It's a lot for racing quad. Yeah, it? it's, it's, more than, yeah. it's more than what you, you need. It's more so, than what you need. So the pilot would have to have a wire that goes from his goggles to the ground so station. So goggles, yeah, the ground station. You can uh, put the ground station on a tripod next to you. Mm -hmm. okay. You can uh, mount it uh, on your um, um, remote control or any anywhere that your HDMI cable gets to your goggle. Yeah, beautiful. And what are we talking about for price? The system. We sell the full complete kit. It comes in the. Uh, this box, uh, <clears throat> camera, transmitter, receiver, antennas, cables, and everything for uh, 499, 499 in the US. That's not it's, bad. it's available in wow. stores. With the okay. camera, with the transmitter, it's, it's with a the game receiver. changer. It's the whole thing, the whole vision yeah. kit. Yeah, yeah. that's so awesome. What do you What do you predict next year? Um, I know there's a lot of analog being used here today at the race. What do you think next year is going to be? Our, our goal is to change this industry and move it from analog to digital. And we are participating in events and races, and we have some old digital race coming. Uh, that uh, race organizer yeah. uh, were brave enough and kind enough to organize a complete full digital race. And once that happens, and I hope successfully, uh, every organizer will feel much more comfortable to completely revamp and change. Uh, the whole thing to digital, it gives you tremendous advantage. We can hook our system, and it's hooked today to the Obi van and to the Jumbo. Yep. And we can feed digital live from a, an FPV race. Yeah. That's something, if you do that with analog, you're gonna get a, a lot of distortion. A lot of distortion. Yeah. So the viewing experience will dramatically change. By, by introducing digital into the space. So this could be not only a game changer for the pilots, but also the spectators who can now look at a big screen there and instead of having a fuzzy analog signal, Absolutely. get some really nice we, HD we had Yesterday, uh, one of the pilots was flying uh, our system in a freestyle. Yeah. And people were looking at the Jumbotron yeah. and they were shocked. They, they thought it's a post-production. Yeah. <laughs> they said, well, and, and, and you know, and the speaker said, no, this is, you see live. And yeah. this is. <laughs> and it's 1080p, right? It's 720p, 60. That's okay. excellent. 60 frames. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Mr. How, how is the other product still doing? Are you still selling a lot of Well, we're still selling Connex, uh, the high end, uh, for drone, for professional uh, drones. Right. This is really a one kilometer, 1080p, 60, right. the whole enchilada. But that system is not designed for maneuvering, for loops, and for high speed. This We've is, used yeah. it before for video production. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a very, very good, good system. So Absolutely. you are still actively pursuing. So we are actively, actively, you know, using and and, 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 and driving this technology, and um, from time to time getting other product out there in the market that are you know refreshing right. what we have there. That's great. But it's it's a great system. Excellent. It's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It. Really appreciate it. Nice to meet you.
Thank nice you, guys. Thank you.